to generate sunlight and sun shadows with accuracy, define the angle of the sun and chief architect by placing a sun angle. To do so, first set the direction of true north in the plan by placing a north pointer. If a north pointer is not used, north is assumed to be straight up on the screen in plan view. Click on CAD tools, then lines. Here set the north pointer by clicking and dragging in the northern direction. Once drawn, define its exact angle and length by double clicking to access the line specification dialog. Next, set the sun angle by clicking CAD, then Lines, and Sun Angle. Click on the plan to open up the Sun Angle Specification dialog. Here you can set the location of the plan by entering the latitude and longitude, and then enter the date and time of day. Doing so will allow the program to determine the sun's location in the sky and generate sunlight and sun shadows with accuracy. Under the Lighting Data tab, define the sun's color if you like, then click OK. To make adjustments to the sun angle, double-click to open up the sun angle specification and make the desired changes. Set multiple sun angles in the plan for use in assorted camera views by repeating the process and making adjustments for date and time. Click on Make Shadow inside the Sun Angle Specification dialog to generate the shadow in the plan view. Clicking Delete Shadow, then OK will remove it. In the Edit toolbar, the same options are available. Click on a sun angle in the plan view, then click Make Shadow or Delete Shadow as needed. While in Camera View, under the Camera View Lighting Tools, Select Adjust Sunlight. Here, under the Use Sun Angle option, access the Sun Angle Specification dialog by clicking Edit to make precise changes, or select Generic Sun to set the sun angle and shadows using a more artistic or freeform approach. Here, make changes to enhance your renderings without relying on your set sun angle. Adjust the intensity, color, tilt, and direction angles. With your rendering open in the background, preview the changes before locking them in by clicking OK. A check mark next to Sun Follows Camera means that the direction the camera is facing is the same direction the sun will shine. As changes are made to the position of the camera, the sun angle follows those changes. Sunlight adds depth and visual interest to scenes and can be used to draw the viewer's eye to specific details of the design. For more information, see the built-in help menu and our support articles available on the website.